welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. This is Transformative Leaders and we are talking about youth and leadership. And uh, in studio, I'm joined by Honorable David Mwangi. And before we went on a break, we were talking about the things that youth miss out. They do not participate in leadership, yes. especially when it comes to politics. Yes. If we may continue on that point. Uh, we talked about if you're not present, you're not, you're absent. Yeah. So if you're not present, you're not represented. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's where we were. So we were looking at a point where, where you are, even if you are underrepresented, yeah. you are still not represented. That is, you are misrepresented. Mm -hmm. So uh, the problem and the challenge we have right now in Kenya, mm -hmm. you are, the youths are either underrepresented, mm -hmm. misrepresented, or not represented at all. Wherever <laughs> <laughs> you find, this is a post for the youth. Yes. But Mze, you are eight years. You are still uh, struggling for our post. Yes. That is misrepresentation, yes. totally. You don't yes. understand us. You cannot tell us what we need to do. Yes. You cannot tell us what we have as our challenges. Yes. Because the challenges we have right now are not the challenges we used to have. It, it also ago. beats the idea of youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Yes, it beats. Because now, where is the tomorrow? <laughs> not unless we are saying that, uh, when you're 80 now, that's when you're a youth. Yes. Now that's your tomorrow. So we are having misrepresentation <laughs> yes. and a representation. Yeah. And a representation by here, we mean the youths who are in parliament, the youths who are in leadership positions are very few. Mm -hmm. Whereby they cannot fight for the rest mm -hmm. of the youth. Yes. That's why I was telling you they cannot even fight for a motion. Mm -hmm. Totally, because mm -hmm. they are few. Yeah. And also we, I was talking about two things I've said under, under representation, misrepresentation or not being represented. Exactly. So that is being absent. Mm -hmm. Being absent is whereby you find this is a youth seat, but there's no youth in it, whereby nobody can take their stories to the front. Mm -hmm. I've told you we have a generation behind us, the generation between 18 and 25. Mm -hmm. They have no representation. Exactly. People don't understand them. They'll be fought. Kidogo kidogo, you'll hear them being told they're lazy. But that is how they operate. Mm -hmm. They'll be told they want money faster. They want to grow fast. Yes. But that's how their mind is. Yes. And if they don't have a representation, mm -hmm. they will not be represented and we will not understand what they really want. Yes. Yes. Maybe we are talking about so much about youth and lead youth and leadership. But also we we tell we tend to forget about attributes of a good youth leader. Okay. Yes. Uh in leadership we have two things. <laughs> we have uh uh, well, let me say about, let me talk, let me put it about training or let me put it about empowerment. Exactly. Or nurturing, that's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Nurturing a leader begins when they are young. Uh, they can begin when they are very young, when they are youthful. They need to understand who is a leader. Mm -hmm. And uh, they need to understand what are the lead things that a leader should do. Mm -hmm. Number one, if uh, a leader should be followed. Why? Because they're able to understand a leader leads the way. He is not followed because he says what should be done. Mm -hmm. It is because he leads the way and the other people follow. Mm -hmm. uh, a leader is someone who represents not himself but represents the people. Mm -hmm. In Africa, is a, which, is, uh, which you have most other countries, we have a problem whereby most leaders are not nurtured. Mm -hmm. Leaders just, you get your money, you decide now you, be, you become a leader. Yet mm -hmm. you're not a leader. Uh, in other countries, we have leadership schools from at an early age, yeah. whereby someone is able to know which areas am I supposed to pre represent. Yes. I'm so shocked that uh, some of the leaders in this country yeah. and their political leaders don't even have offices. So uh, my question is, where do you even meet them? Mm -hmm. At what point do you even, if you have a problem, where do you, do you, do you find them? Some operate from the cars, some, op some op operate from vacuum. So mm -hmm. a leader needs to be trained mm -hmm. from, uh, right from a young age. Mm -hmm. Secondly, after being trained, we have something called the heritage part. Heritage is whereby you are able to, to keep what you've learned. Mm -hmm. You find most of us were leaders in university. Yes. In university, we were so many leaders. I'm sure the university that you were in, there's someone you would identify and say, hey, this one can become president. Exactly. This one must become governor. Yes. Have you ever asked yourself today, where is that person? Why? Because after university, that gap mm -hmm. is where now we have the heritage. Yes. You, ha you are already nurtured in university and college. Yes. When you reach after university, you get confused to where to start. Is it to feed your, pro your problems or yeah. is it to feed the, 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 the country with better ideologies? Yes. So what happens? You lose track. Yeah. So you lose the heritage. Mm -hmm. And so you'll find that those leaders disappear. And mm -hmm. they, were so, they were very good. Mm -hmm. You find that in a university, we have 40,000 students. Yeah. You have one acting or a president or a chairman. Mm -hmm. Nowadays they are called chairman. Mm -hmm. That chairman is able to fight for the rights of 40,000 people. Yeah. 
40,000 people is a whole constituency. Exactly. A whole constituency yes. per se. Yes. The problems in university and colleges are the same problems we are having with people outside here. If it's sanitation, mm -hmm. if it's issues to do with education, if it's issues to do with everything, roads mm -hmm. and stuff, they are there in the university mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the colleges. Yes. But this heritage, when you lose it, there's no transformation between university and colleges and the political leadership. Mm -hmm. And now, so we lose a great, a great part, a good number mm -hmm. of, of, of good leaders that would be having. Yes. yes. Can you say from what you have just said, can you say that the youth now feel like they are not fully em embraced when it comes to politics and leadership? Uh, embracing the youth uh, when it comes to leadership is, is they, they feel under, 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 under embraced. Why? Yes. Because there is no mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, if today I would ask how many leaders that we've had in the past mm -hmm. that have mentored the youth, mm -hmm. you find none. Most of the old leaders, most of the people who have been in those leadership positions for long, they want to stay in those positions for way too long. Yeah. So they fear empowering the youth. Mm -hmm. They don't empower the youth. They don't even mentor anyone. If it's not your family, don't, you cannot mentor someone outside mm -hmm. the family. Yet maybe your family does not even have leadership skills. You can get someone who has a leadership skill and yeah. mentor them mm -hmm. so that you can have a better community. Yes. But the selfishness sometimes leads to that and the people want to be in positions for way too long. Yeah. And yet we've not been this hard for way too long. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, let me take you a little back to the attributes of uh, uh, a good youth leader. Talk about the importance of having a solid vision. Okay. As a youth leader, mm -hmm. the importance of having one vision is one. Is that uh, you are able to stick and maintain and focus. Mm -hmm. You cannot focus on four goals. Mm -hmm. uh, you are a leader, you want to assist people in unemployment. Mm -hmm. Then other stories come whereby now they need, the, you, you, you hear another issue of empowering the youth. You stop first with the employment, you go to another side. Mm -hmm. uh, have one focus, have your goals written down, mm -hmm. uh, achieve them fast. Mm -hmm. You will not be the leader forever. Mm -hmm. There will come another leader, you achieve your goals, mm -hmm leave the rest for another leader mm -hmm. because time changes. Mm -hmm. You'll try fight for the youth wholesomely, but you'll not make it. Mm -hmm. Today, if you're fighting for unemployment, let's handle that. Mm -hmm. If you, you, you're looking at uh, mental health for the youth, mm -hmm. look at that. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at, uh, right now we're having a war, and I know we'll talk about it, mm -hmm. about the illicit bruise and, and drug abuse. Exactly. If you're looking into that, look mm -hmm. into that with, with the deep meaning, how is it, why is it happening and how you should deal with it. Mm -hmm. Have a goal and a focus, mm -hmm. yes. Well, one of the things that youth complain about is lack of employment. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> one of the things that they want is to be given opportunities. But also there is also the aspect of creating those opportunities. Yes. Talk about why this is an issue for the youth. Uh, when you went to college, those who are, went to college mm -hmm. who are lucky, yes. and those who went to university also yeah. who are lucky, we went to university and colleges and we were trained to be managers. I don't know where we lose the link because there's somewhere we lose the link and now we behave like now we went to the university to be employed. Mm -hmm. We went to the university and I will tell these people point blank to be managers. We went to be made to manage and be able to, to come up with ideas, ideas per se whereby we are talking about creativity, inventions mm -hmm. and such. That was the mentality. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of us came out of the university with papers and degree papers whereby we think we only present them and get jobs. Mm -hmm. Life is not like that. Yes. If we want to be trained to be managers, always have a mind of creating employment. If you have a mindset of creating employment, even if you miss the employment, you will be able to create an employment. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a youth, you're about 22, 23 to 35 years. Mm -hmm. You can try as many businesses as 10 or 20 mm -hmm. so that one works. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we have the fear of risk. Mm -hmm. The youth have the fear of risk. If I fail, what will my friends say? If I fail, if I do this work, if I start polishing shoes in Nairobi town, what will my friends say? Mm -hmm. I went to the university, I did a BCom. I went to the university, I did an engineering course. Mm -hmm. If I go to the streets and do this type of work, if I start selling my eye, what will my friends say? What will my parents say I do in Nairobi? Those are the questions and those are the fears that the youth have. Yes. And you'll find that such sectors, uh, it's unfortunate to say this on TV, uh, have been taken up by our neighbors. We are having people from other countries doing the work. You go to a place like Imenti, you'll find no Kenyan there doing the nails for the ladies. You go to a place like uh, downtown, you'll find no Kenyan selling eggs. Mm -hmm. You'll find people from other communities. I'm sorry to say this, my Baba is not even Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I don't know which country he's from, but he's not Kenyan. He cannot even speak Swahili. Mm -hmm. And I go shaving, I think, every one week. I can imagine if he was a Kenyan, how much money he would be earning. Mm -hmm. Not only from me, but even from other youth. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to even to as much as uh, even the people who are selling eggs and coffee in the evening. 
you don't find Kenyans. Yes. You find guys with those mtungis and those mandazis. They're not Kenyans because us Kenyans we've neglected. But mm -hmm. you'll hear us crying. There's no work. I want to go to Saudi Arabia. There's no work. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Qatar. There's no work. Mm -hmm. But are the opportunities that we have here? Are we able to embrace them? Mm -hmm. Are we able? People will say, "Ikazi ni chaf." But why don't you look at the money that it gives you? Yes. Those guys are making a lot of money. Yes. And the informal sector, I will tell the youth today, it mm -hmm. has a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, youths have to come to their normal senses and agree to work. Mm -hmm. Always look at what money can do for you. Mm -hmm. Don't look how dirty and how, uh, how much you do to get the money. I, I think it also stems from the fact that maybe in a way people were raised to, to believe that once you finish your university studies or college studies you are entitled to get a job yes that mentality has affected <laughs> how the youth approach employment yes it has affected really yeah. uh, we grew up in a society whereby our mothers and fathers just told us read you read Bona. when you reach <laughs> campus university everything will have come for you so we were forced to be on the books full time 24 hours 24 hours, seven days a day yes. reading for the to get to the university i also did that the same <laughs> i read deep into my books to greet the university yes. the university again the lecturer tells you read again you have to pass your examinations you have to get second upper you have to get a first class whatever yes. the case then when you get out of this university or the college mm -hmm. life is different now yes whereby you find the way you're supposed to be where you deserve is not where you are yes but life does not life is never fair and life, doesn't, never be fair. And life doesn't care life continues every day yeah, yes. you're, either, you're either in a position or not yes life will move on today yes. if i did engineering for example mm -hmm. uh water engineering per mm -hmm. se mm -hmm. if i'm not doing your borehole someone yes. else is doing the borehole exactly you you need the water you don't care about with me i did my engineering as long as even the guy who is doing the borehole even if he doesn't have a degree yeah. the water you get the results yes. Yes. so when you come outside here yes. life changes mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've, like i've said enjoy the money <laughs> the results of the money don't enjoy don't don't <laughs> don't select how you get this money and the process is not the always process the, is not the same and it is not the same yes you'll find another guy who went to college same class with you <laughs> he followed the career and he's doing fine yes. you you did the same thing you've applied to the same companies yes. and you don't get a job exactly so when you get something that you can do uh, aside, aside mm -hmm. do it mm -hmm. and then also uh, kenya is uh, is running fast yeah. kenyans need to understand that mm -hmm. and the youth per se need to understand that yeah. uh you cannot have one job if you're having a job of eight to five you will never make it in life yeah. trust me because the bills fast for example the bills in the cities half or three quarter of them are your salary exactly. you remain with about 25 percent 25 percent would transport five percent if you're using public means if you're using a car that is 10 percent you remain with 15 percent savings uh, most of us are affected by black tax you have to send money home you have to do what mm -hmm. uh, such you find yourself with two percent yeah. you have to look for a different investment mm -hmm. no matter how small it may be yeah. always do that because yes. Uh, I was telling my friends yesterday we were having a, a, a meeting mm -hmm. and I was telling them uh, hiring is a process you will be hired by a company yes. and go for interview exactly. for two months they have not hired you they are still calling you and still continuing with the process but today firing is an instant decision you're fired like there and there yes. leave job now my question is if you're hired and fired after you're fired where do you go to always have a backbone whereby it will i think covid taught us uh, good lessons yeah. let us continue doing the lessons so in other words youth wajitume wajitume <laughs> absolutely now still on youth and leadership talk about the inclusion of youth in policy formulation uh -huh. where, where do they fit in uh, that now is a challenge mm -hmm. currently as we said if you're absent you're not there exactly if you're not available if your presence is not there you cannot be there in any ideologies or policy making mm -hmm. Let me give you an example of a current issue currently uh, or that was running or it's running i don't even know whether it i think it's still running mm -hmm. eh? we had this uh, committee in bombers the nadco the nadco yeah the nadco gave i think 10 issues mm -hmm. the 10 issues that they covered mm -hmm. i don't know all of them but i know a few of them they covered political party mm -hmm. two for political party i don't know what one was for dividend and one was for i don't know what they covered also elections how elections should be run in our country they covered something something small to do with women i didn't see it so much highlighted and uh also they covered something with the opposition and how to share power positions eh? i didn't see them talk about the youth unfortunately i didn't even see the youth who were in that committee so that tells you like i told you the when there's omission 
and there's absence, there's no presence. Yeah. You cannot be covered by anyone. Uh -huh. And people will not fight for and champion for your rights. You, the youth in this country are more than 50%. Yeah. The whole committee didn't even have the youth as even if they should be having even 30%. Uh -huh. How do you expect us to talk about the youth, yet you're not the youth? Uh -huh. The shoe press is the one who fits it. If you don't fit this shoe, you cannot, it doesn't press you. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are having such challenges whereby the people who are up there, they don't consider the youth. They yes. don't put them in such positions whereby yes. they can make decisions. Mm -hmm. Most of the youth are put on the menu to be eaten. It's so rare for them to be put on the table yeah. to make the decisions. Yes. yes. Now, talk about the issues of mental health amongst the youth. They have been rampant, and some of them have uh, resulted from the substance use. Yes. <clears throat> so talk about the mental health situation of the youth. The, the figure currently we are having, which is unfortunate, we are having one out of every four people in this country have mental health issues. That is the reason, uh, that, is the, that is the number. That is the numerical figure. Yeah. When you talk about one in every four, that means if you have a, a population of 40 million, mm -hmm. you have 10 million people uh, have issues with their mental health. Exactly. Unfortunately, mental health does not stick with one person. For example, if in this studio we have four, and one has an, an issue with mental health, it is not permanent to him. It can shift from him to, to you. you. Him is okay, now you are the problem. Yeah. So amongst all of us, the four of us, three of us may find ourselves in that situation at some season or mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, a whole generation will have undergone mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So the question is, mm -hmm. how do we fight it? Mm -hmm. When I was uh, doing my manifesto for Nairobi Senator in 2022, yes. I had, um, my manifesto had an, a, 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 a proposal to do a mental health facility, only a mental health facility, which is free for the Kenyans, mm -hmm. mostly for the youth. Yes. Why am I saying so? Today, if I call a counselor, today, mm -hmm. they will charge me 5,000 or 4,000 per hour. Wow. My problem is I don't have money. Mm -hmm. I'm unable to raise my children. Yes. How, why, how, why, where will I get the 5,000 to give to a counselor to advise me or to listen to me? Will I get the 5,000 first to feed my family and pay the school fees <laughs> or pay a counselor to guide me on how to look for the money and to pay the school fees? Yes. Now that is where the challenge is. Uh -huh. So you find that mental facilities are very expensive mm -hmm. and uh, not only that, mm -hmm. even if they're, uh, they're expensive, the ones that we have also, they're not, uh, they're not friendly. Mm -hmm. So if I have an issue with alcoholism, I will not take myself to Madare. Yeah. You guys will have to force me. Yes. Take me to Madare <laughs> and lock me there so that things work for me. Yes. So it is not a wish that I want. Mm -hmm. uh, they should be more friendly, number one, very affordable. Mm -hmm. If today I want to cry out to you, and I want to say, maybe I want someone to talk to, mm -hmm. how accessible are you? Who takes care of you as you take care of me? Mm -hmm. So those are some of the challenges that we are having. Mm -hmm. And now we will have so many fights in this country. Yes. Right now we are fighting illicit boo. I was telling someone, yes, we are fighting the consequences. Yes. But are we, are we able to fight the source? The are we cost. able to identify the cause and the source of why are people drinking like this in this country? Mm -hmm. Yes, we will close and I thank everyone for the, the efforts that they're doing. But always ask yourself, after we close all these bars, all these wines and spirits, mm -hmm. are we able to identify why the youths are draining mm -hmm. so much? That is, those are the questions that so we it's, should be it's, having. So it's a chain reaction mm -hmm. that should be ex investigated and muted, muted at the source. Yes, always yeah. mute everything in life at the source. Mm -hmm. Because uh, even in discipline, if you install discipline at the end, yeah. it works for that short period. But if you install discipline, at the beginning, mm -hmm. it works for a whole generation. Mm -hmm. So we should ask ourselves, we are putting on these measures. Mm -hmm. Is there a bill? I was even asking someone, have you even tabled a bill in parliament about this illicit brew? Have you uh, put a bill in parliament that uh, shows that uh, the youth should be employed mm -hmm. and uh, we should avoid most of the other people coming and taking the opportunities for the youth? Have mm -hmm. you done that? If you have not done that, why should you be fighting alcoholism at the end? And also you're not fixing the... The, the, the beginning. Mm -hmm. You will fight it at the end, mm -hmm. but the generations will change. Yeah. It will, uh, in, in later you will not be the one in leadership. Mm -hmm. The person who will be there in leadership will decide not to fight alcoholism and decide to fight for the roads. Yes. Then alcoholism will be back. Yes. So we need to, if we are clearing something, you clear it from the source and mm -hmm. you, you, you get done with it. Nice. Yes. How can now the youth position themselves for uh, leadership positions? Okay. Yeah. The youths have tried to position themselves for leadership positions. Mm -hmm. 
But it's unfortunate, as we say, the challenges start from where we start with finances. Mm -hmm. I would encourage the youth two things only. First, you have to know without finances, you cannot be, you cannot be able to forge. Mm -hmm. So either you get the finances by yourself mm -hmm. or you look for people who can support you financially. Mm -hmm. That is point blank. Mm -hmm. We don't have to keep on lying to each other. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we don't need a lot of money, though. You need for publicity, let mm -hmm. people know you. Let people understand your manifesto. Mm -hmm. Let people know that you're in the race. Mm -hmm. Because also me, I was in the race. But I didn't have the money. So what happened? People are doing billboards. Me, I'm not doing billboards. You see, that's the whole point. People mm -hmm. are doing a, a few projects for the community. Mm -hmm. I am not doing the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth need to allow themselves, as, as we are growing also, mm -hmm. let us also try and get financial strength. Mm -hmm. All campaigns are, are, are pushed by finances. Yeah. Even if you look at Trump right now, he's looking for people who can... He's a billionaire, but yes. he's looking for people who can invest in his campaigns. Yes. And uh, that is what we need. And also the old Oazes should also entrust us. Uh, don't use us too much as your, eh, as your small boys in town. And uh, you want us to get positions so that you can use us. Also allow us to have a breathing space and assist our mm -hmm. fellow youth. Yes. yes. How would you rate uh, the youth that are in various leadership positions right now? Uh, out of 10, I'll mm -hmm. give them a 6. Mm -hmm. They are trying, yes. but as we said, the issue is uh, they have to dance to a tune. Mm -hmm. If they would not be dancing to that tune, or if they had their own political party, or if they had entered through in these systems through their own effort, mm -hmm. they would be fighting for their tune. Mm -hmm. But now, right now, you are told to vie by someone who was pushing you. Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest challenge we are having. Yeah. And the person has their own private and personal interests. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to dance to their tune and try to assist the youth where you can. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the role or importance of mentorship when it comes to leadership, especially amongst the youth? Uh, you have to agree with me when we talk about mentorship mm -hmm. that we have a, a vacuum between the, uh, the people who are above 50 years. Yeah. We call them golden age leaders. Yes. Uh, above 50 years, now you can, you're supposed to start mentoring people down here. Mm. The people who are above 50 years, they're not mentoring people down here. For them, they want to maintain their position longer. Mm -hmm. So we have that vacuum whereby the people who are 50 and the people who are, been, let's say, below 35, mm. they're not being mentored by anyone. That's why we are having uh, the youths in a very funny dilemma whereby they're in the dark. Mm -hmm. They want the leadership, but even if they get to the leadership, they don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. You get to the leadership, mm -hmm. the only thing that you'll be doing on TV and on, uh, and, 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 and on camera mm -hmm. is saying how God has brought you from poverty to leadership. Mm -hmm. God didn't bring you from poverty to leadership to keep telling us how he has brought you. Yes. <laughs> it's time to work for the people yes. because even more people are in that poverty that you are in, yes. it's time for you to work. Yes. It is not time for you to do photos on business class and telling us that now the Lord is good, the Lord is faithful. It yes. is time for you to work for us and also so that we can see the Lord is faithful to you. Yes. So that's, that's some of the challenges that you're having yes. by lack of mentorship. Mm -hmm. Because mentorship creates a leader. Yes. You cannot be a leader without mentorship. Uh -huh. You cannot. Because things that you want to do for the people have been done by others. Mm -hmm. You will not be the first to put water in your area. You will not be the first to create, uh, to build schools and classes in your area. Mm -hmm. People have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. And that is your duty to mm -hmm. do. So if it is your duty to do it, you need mentorship so that you can be able yes. to, to harness that and do it. Yes. yes. What is the place of self-confidence? Self-confidence, uh, when you talk about self-confidence in leadership, is whereby people can push an agenda. Yes. I'm not talking about chaos, I'm not talking about demonstration. Mm -hmm. It's about whereby you can look for a way, mm -hmm. a way to push an agenda. If today I want the youth to be represented 30%, mm -hmm. can I be able to push a bill? Mm -hmm. A bill that will change the mentality of the people who are doing the mm -hmm. bills with me. Mm -hmm. Am I able to convince them and tell them the youths are underrepresented? Mm -hmm. How can we work for this? Mm -hmm. Am I able to tell them how can we implement it after we have put the rules? Mm -hmm. You will put a rule today in this country. The implementation, nobody is there. Nobody carries, nobody wants to carry that and say, let us impl implement this. You will put today rules for ladies yes. and women, yes. but nobody wants to to be part and parcel yes. when it comes to the implementation. Yes. Yes. And uh, to, to go back on the, on the same, uh -huh. uh, when we look about, I'm sorry, I'm taking you back. When you look about the, the mental issue of the youth right now, we're mm -hmm. having too many femicides, we're having too many uh, suicides, alcoholism and stuff. Yes. Why are we having that? Because nobody is ready yes. to take the mantle and run yes. and say, can we change lives? Yes. Can, can we do this and this? Mm -hmm. Are we able to fight? Yes. Uh, uh, when we do a demonstration, 
of ending femicide. Does it end there? Yes. The other day we saw very many ladies, and congratulations, we had so many youths. Mm -hmm. Those who had mobilized, good work. But the question is, do we have a follow-up after that? Mm -hmm. Do the victims get justice? Mm -hmm. Do we have people who stand and prevent that before it happens? Mm -hmm. Those are the questions that we should be asking. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for gracing our show. Thank this you. This so has <laughs> been a very interesting conversation with yes. very insightful yes. uh, contributions. Yes. We have been talking to uh, David Mwangi, who is a businessman and a youth leader, and I hope you have learned a thing or two about youth and leadership. This is where we cap matters. Good morning, Kenya. This has been Transformative Leadership Segment. My name is Mike Migwe. Continue enjoying the rest of your viewing. Good morning.